Hello, I'm Andrew Barrett. I'm the Chief Executive at Tamworth Borough Council. I'm here with uh, Councillor Jeremy Oates, who's a leader of the council. As you're hopefully aware, Tamworth Borough is working on a reset and recovery programme to look at how we tackle the financial challenges facing the authority over the next five years. Although the budgets we have are balanced in the short term, we know there are some challenges coming along on the horizon. These are mainly as a result of planned government funding reforms and the huge financial and economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic. As a result, we're currently predicting a £7 million shortfall in the next five years. Reset and recovery is about making sure we're in the best possible position to meet those challenges head on and to ensure we emerge stronger and we're fit for the purpose for the future. And at the heart of it, and the reason for, for all of that, is to protect and where possible enhance services to our community and the most vulnerable members of that community. A number of recommendations have now been approved by both our Cabinet and our full Council which look at how these savings can be made, how income can be gener generated and how services can be tailored to ensure they are meeting the demand where it's needed the most. These options can be read in full via the web page that will be shown at the end of this video. So what's next? It's important to note that the recommendations were all about setting a direction of travel. Nothing is yet 100% decided or indeed a done deal, but we do now have a basis on which to consult and engage further, be that with members of staff, our voluntary sector, our partners, our stakeholders, and of course you, the residents of Tamworth. It's therefore expected that plans will change and evolve as we go through that process. I'd now like to pass you over to the Leader of the Council. Okay, thank you very much. I am Jeremy Oates and I am Leader of Townsborough Council. So Andrew set the, the context and the, and the background for us. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about is, is what that means to you and me, the public in Tamworth and the people that use the services that the, the Council provides. Now, we've had the pandemic over the last uh, 18, 19 months and that's really given us the ability to focus and given us the kick and the drive we need to actually revolutionise and bring the Townsborough Council up to speed in the 21st century. In the same way as any business will have to respond to change uh, and develop, we need to drive through and push for change and reform within the Council. Now what that means is we'll be reviewing services and we'll be reviewing those to make sure you, the public, get the services that you require and the people who are most vulnerable get services which are tailored to them. But we need to do that in a way that reduces waste and bureaucracy. So we need to do that in an efficient way that is responsive to, to your needs. Now that's, uh, that falls out in a number of different, different ways and there's been a lot of discussion uh, around Marmion House and around reception. It's our commitment that we will continue to have a reception in the town centre regardless of which way this, this project goes. Now that doesn't mean we're going to switch off the digital stuff that we've been working on over the last few years. We'll actually be enhancing that because the days of reception being open nine to five and that being your only opportunity uh, to, to access council services are gone. And we need people to access those services as and when it suits those. So we'll be growing the digital offer, but we'll also maintain a physical reception in the town centre. So that brings me on to, to Marmion House. Uh, and, and we all know that this is a, a very if inefficient, uh, underused and expensive building. It was built on spec in the 70s, the council bought it, uh, and now we're lumbered with it. Now, the only way to drive efficiency and, 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 uh, and re reduce waste is to get rid of some of those overheads. So we've chosen to decommission Marmion House as a building. Now that means we've got to find somewhere else to go and we've got to find different ways to deliver those services. So I'd like to, at this point, pay tribute to the, the staff and the efforts they've put in over the last 18, 19 months. Not only have they continued to work and deliver the services that the public of Tamworth have required, they've also done additional work such as £12 million worth of business grants uh, being processed, making phone calls to vulnerable people, delivering food parcels to vulnerable people, as well as being, uh, uh, being taken on to do test and trace uh, and other responsibilities that we never dreamt we'd have to do uh, before the pandemic. Now they've done this and they've done this from home. So not only have they had to take on the extra pressure, they've also done it and had to, had to learn how to work from home rather than in this building. So I'll just pay, pay tribute to the, the fantastic effort the staff have put in over the last 19 months. Now during that period, while people have been working from home, 
our reception area has been closed. However, we've still maintained access through digital means, through telephones, through emails, through social media, and whatever else, and we've continued to have face-to-face -face contact with those people who need it most. Now, I am hearing that some people have not been able to access that. If you've got any hard evidence of an individual who has not been able to access the service, please let us know. Uh, I'm interested in individual cases. I'm not interested in here, so I'm interested in individual cases where there's been a problem and we can address those problems, but we can't do that unless we know about it. So back to the project. This is about reducing waste and bureaucracy. It's about driving Townsborough Council forward. It's about addressing that budget deficit that Andrew spoke about earlier, but it's about making sure that the people of Tamworth get the services they require and the staff get their support in delivering those services going forward. So it's, it's an exciting time uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be tough over the next few months uh, whilst, whilst we put these plans in, in, into place. Uh, but please, when consultation happens, engage with us, let us know your thoughts, and we'll consider those as, as we go forward and shape that, that project. Thank you very much.